Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Go Mental. My name is Warime. Now, how is everyone out there doing? How are you all coping with the COVID-19 pandemic? Are we all taking care, taking the precautionary measures that have been put into place? That is, are you washing your hands, sanitizing when you should, or as often as you should, hydrating, staying at home? I hope we are all doing that because right now we are the ones who can make a change in the curve, in the COVID-19 curve in Kenya. So let's just take all these precautionary measures. I have noticed in the past probably... I could say two weeks, Kenyans have started relaxing a bit and they've started leaving their house, houses. And I'm also in that category. I find, I'm, I'm finding myself leaving the house more regularly. And on Saturday, when I got back home, what I went out to do was not an important thing, but I just felt that I needed to leave the house. But the anxiety that it caused me that night, honestly, I just decided, you know what? I am just going to stick to either going to the supermarket or maybe we need to go to the chemist. Just very important errands. Anything past that, no. Because you can imagine the whole night I was there. I'm like, oh my God, when I touched this, did I sanitize immediately after? There was a guy who brushed against me. What if he has corona? Like, you know, all that unnecessary anxiety. So I decided, you know what, from Saturday, I'm hardly going to leave the house. I mean, of course, it's very boring, but... They're just things you can just find to do. You can study, like right now I'm doing um, some online course on psychology. Um, you can work out at home, go for work. So there's so many activities that you can find during this period to keep yourself busy so in the house. So today's video, basically, I would like to guide you guys out there on how to get mental health treatment. I've been getting a lot of DMs, uh, people asking me how exactly do they go about getting treatment, and I thought it would be important for me to do this video. I already did one, I think in 2018, but it's, it's just important for me to redo this, to redo the video, right? So the first step, I must say, whichever avenue you're going to take, the first thing you need to do or you need to know is that you need to see a psychologist first. A psychologist is now the counselor or the therapist, the ones who basically provide talk therapy. So once you see a psychologist, the psychologist is able to evaluate you and let you know, do I need to, and let you know whether you need to see a psychiatrist or not, and whether your condition is at a level where talk therapy alone will help. So psychologist, as I said, does the talk therapy. Then we have the psychiatrists now who are the doctors. The psychiatrists are the ones who diagnose certain conditions, and they're also the ones who um, prescribe medication. In some countries, you'll find that clinical psychologists are able to um, prescribe medication. I do not know whether it's the same in Kenya. Maybe someone can just comment below and let us know whether clinical psychologists also prescribe medication. But please note, if you're going to see a psychologist, they are not supposed to prescribe you medication because they're not doctors. Psychiatrists are the only ones who prescribe medication. So now let's get into it. First thing is, if, if you have an insurance cover, speak to your insurance company, ask them to give you a list of the doctors on their panel. So look at the list on their panel. Maybe you can decide to pick a doctor based on ge geographic um, area, or you can choose maybe based on, if you reach out to someone probably who's in the mental health space, like I am, you can reach out to me and ask me, how is this doctor? And if I do not, them, do, do not know them directly, I can always speak to other people in the the field so that's the first thing ask for list of panelists and then the second thing is if you do not have an insurance cover i am going to put below some of the resources or some of the people you can reach out to if you feel you need to talk to someone if you feel you need mental health treatment but i'll mention some of them we have um, safaricom online they have a sorry we have Sa safaricom online counseling um, i will put the number below we also have Basic Needs, Basic Rights. We have Basic Needs Watch. We also have an organization called Camille Foundation. They are located in Lower Kabete. They provide actually free treatment. But at the moment, I am not too sure whether they are taking in patients or not, or whether they are providing online treatment like some of the other organizations. So some of the other organizations also that, that I've partnered with is we have Hisia Psychology Consultants. I'll also put their details below. They are also providing online um, therapy sessions. So I'll put the details below. We also have Inuka Counseling. It's an app. You can go and download this app and, and get now the 
talk therapy that you need. But you need to realize that these resources that I'm giving you are more for talk therapy. If you need to see a psychiatrist, the psychologist will refer you to them. Or either way, you can speak to someone around you and find out, do you think I need to see a psychiatrist based on how you have gauged me and where I am? So guys, I hope this has helped you a bit more in terms of how to look for treatment. As I said, I'll put all the resources at the bottom. And then you can also go to my Instagram page on my highlights. There's actually a section where I have put most of the psychologists and psychiatrists in Kenya. So since I'm not able to put all of them down, because there are more than, I think, 40, if, since I'm not able to put all of them down in the description box below, please go to my Instagram page. It's letsgomental.ke. Please go and check out which other doctors you can see. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Take care, be safe, and we shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.